Hey guys, this is Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot. I'm bringing you a quick read today. This is going to be actually um, your love situation um, and maybe advice depending on what pops out for you. We're going to get some tarot cards. We're going to get the Love and Romance Journey deck from Queen Sugar Tarot. And I'm also going to use the Soul Reflections Love Oracle deck. Um, I will be pulling signs for each of the, I mean, I will be posting timestamps for each of the signs below. Um, so you can go straight to your sign. Just keep in mind, these are general reads. Um, it may not resonate to hundred percent. If you feel like it's way off the mark and go ahead and check your moon and your rising signs. If you're not sure what your moon and your rising signs are, there is a link in the description box below to get you that information. There's also a link in the description box below to get you to my personal webpage. If you're interested in a personal read, um, yeah, so let's get started. Uh, I'm going to give you like a little bit of a warning. My dog is roaming about. She's got a new toy and she you may hear a squeak here and there. Um, she's tearing it apart. <laughs> uh, but we'll see how this goes. I'm going to try to get all of them in one video. We'll see. We'll see. Thanks for watching, guys. So Aries, what's Aries' love situation? What is Aries' love situation? What's Aries' love situation? For some reason, I have the song in my head, The Girl Ain't Worth It. Is that like Bobby Brown? I don't know. The Girl Ain't Worth It. She Ain't Worth It. I don't even know who sings that song. It's like an 80s song, I think. Um, that song is like came out of nowhere in my head. I don't even know. <laughs> so maybe that's relevant, Aries. The Girl Ain't Worth It. She Ain't Worth It. I don't know. I don't even know if those are the right lyrics, to be truly honest. Um, your love situation. I feel like, Aries, your love situation right now is is quite stressful. I feel like um, there is a lot of overthinking happening in this situation. We have the High Priestess, which is usually kind of a card of quiet, keeping to yourself, not really speaking and communicating. But the good thing about the High Priestess is, is tapping into your um, spirituality, getting guidance, from God, getting guidance from your guardian angels. So I feel like um, right now you guys are kind of in a situation where you are not sure what to do in a situation. You're like juggling either work and love or two different people or someone's doing that to you. Um, but I feel like, see, there's a squeaker. I feel like um, this is creating a lot of stress and anxiety for you, Aries. Um, so you're really kind of going into... Um, I'm so sorry. I'm trying to keep her occupied, so you guys are going to have to bear with me. Um, I don't want to lock her up in her cage. But you guys are leaning towards the spirituality, towards prayer, towards meditation, towards trusting your intuition. I feel like um, there's a lot of stress happening and a lot of indecision happening in your love situation. So you're genuinely or naturally going internally and tapping into your intuition. Um, let's just get, I think I'm just going to get like, oh, I was going to say a card or two. The Dark Knight of the Soul came out in communication. Yeah, so I feel like, um, I feel like there's not a lot of communication happening uh, because you're going through this Dark Knight of the Soul kind of energy. Um, but perhaps the communication will kind of open back up soon. I really feel like it's more of a lack of communication because you're going through the Dark Knight of the Soul. Let's get one Love Oracle card. For Aries, uh, relationship abuse, toxic relationship. So this very well could be some of the things you're scrappling with or struggling with. If you are in a toxic relationship, I think under no circumstances should you stay in it. Um, abuse is never okay, whether it's emotional, physical, mental. It does not matter. It's not okay. Um, so I feel like even if your person has like past traumas that they need to deal with, that that's not for you to handle, right? Like you don't need to take that. So um, that's my like disclaimer. I usually try to keep my opinions to myself, but this is something that I cannot keep to myself. Um, yes, not okay. So if you're going through uh, an abusive situation in a relationship, I think... Um, or maybe that's what like prompted you in, into this dark night of the soul. You need to do some healing. Uh, communication, again, take that how it resonates with you. But I feel like there's a lack of communication in this situation. Uh, or at least lack of positive or good communication. Um, and it's just imbalance. So if something's not like toxic in your situation, it's definitely not balanced. And it's causing you some stress. And it's causing you to go inward and tap into your intuition. So that's what I have for you, Aries. Sorry, that's not like a great spread of cards but um I read what I see so sorry all right Taurus is Taurus is 
um, yeah, it's Taurus season. Yeah, happy Taurus season. So what's Taurus's love situation? They give me cards for Taurus's love situation. Oof, five of cups, seven of wands, ten of pentacles. So we have nine of, sword, or nine of wands on the bottom of the deck. I feel like, guys, um, your love situation is a little bit interesting. For whatever reason, I feel like you are really focused on what you've lost versus what you actually have in your hand. I feel like you've been extremely guarded and protected. I feel like you're trying to um, be defensive or you're, you're not trying to be defensive. You're trying to keep your heart covered um, and you're kind of showing up as defensive. But the, the interesting thing with your cards, Taurus, is we have this Ten of Pentacles here. So Ten of Pentacles is a really solid, grounded, committed, loyal relationship. This is like a marriage. This is like blended families. This is like, I don't know why I keep saying like, um, you know, kids coming together into your family, um, marriage, commitment, loyalty, financial stability, emotional stability. So I feel like this kind of is making me feel as if you're not recognizing that you have this amazing connection you're too busy being guarded and being defensive in the situation and you're focusing on what you've lost versus what you actually have in front of you so i feel like the advice for you taurus is kind of like wake up and see what you have um see what you have maybe even if you don't if you're like friend i don't have a ten of pentacles situation that's what i want um then maybe just focus on what you do currently have that's positive in your life um, cause I feel like you are being defensive and focused on everything you don't have versus what you actually do have. And even if you have like, you're like showing up as the nine of pentacles yourself, right? Um, then someone might come along and add to the 10 of pentacles to make it a 10 of pentacles situation. But if you're down in the dumps and focused on all the negative, they're not going to want to commit to somebody like that. Right? So maybe, uh, turn your perspective around. Um, we have holding back and reconciliation. So yeah, I feel like this is definitely your energy of holding back. Um, perhaps you're going to be holding back due to someone who is coming back around in a reconciliation. Uh, that could be possible. Maybe that's why you're defensive and you're like, you know, we had the Ten of Pentacles and you screwed it all up. Or maybe it's like um, if a reconciliation, maybe you want the Ten of Pentacles with this person, but you're really not sure because the last time you kind of felt like you missed out. We have fix it, sit, sit down and communicate for your love oracle card. Fix it, sit down and communicate. Um, I do feel like this situation is fixable for you, Taurus. I think if you do want this reconciliation, um, you do have to kind of open up and stop holding back, stop being so defensive, stop uh, keeping things out, stop focusing on the negatives and what you don't have to end up with a 10 of pentacles situation. I think it'll be good, Taurus. You just have to push through. And I suppose the energies could be reversed, so take it out, resonates. All right, Gemini, Gemini, Gemini's. What's Gemini's love situation? Ugh. Ugh. That's way too many. I'm not taking all those Gemini's. We're going to put those all back. Because I feel like I didn't even really get a good shuffle. I think Taurus's energy was trying to come back out. I'm just kidding. Gemini's, 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 Gemini's. Ooh. I kind of want to give the collective a hug here. Oh, that's a nice hug, Gemini's. Um, you could potentially be dealing with a Leo or end up with a Leo. Um, your love situation. I feel like, Gemini's, you have been in this energy also of keeping yourself very guarded. Uh, not really letting a lot in. Like you can see there's one wand that's in her space bubble. Um, but she's really focused on herself. She's like in this meditative state. Um, she is not stressed, right? She, but she's guarded. She's not letting nonsense in. She's not dealing with negativity. Um, I think this is an equally important card. So we have this guarded energy and then we have moving on to calmer waters. So I feel like, um, Gemini's, you are moving away from a situation in which you feel like you need to keep yourself guarded. You are moving away from the situation of where you have to be guarded. You're moving into the situation that's going to provide joy, optimism, happiness, you're um, moving on to calmer waters. It's going to be positive. It's going to be optimistic. It's going to be happy. It's going to be great times. Could be a, a pregnancy. Um, so I feel like you are definitely guarded, but moving away from something that is no longer serving you and moving toward your true happiness, Gemini's. We have 
your true happiness, Geminis. We have regret and delicacy. So perhaps um, some of this guarded behavior might be because you regretted something that happened in the past. Um, and I'm just going to show you this card. I have no words for this card. <laughs> uh, maybe this is your happiness. This delicate situation. And let's get a love oracle card from the soul reflections of our oracle card for Gemini. Hurtful words. Yeah. So maybe some hurtful words were said and that's what kept you guarded. Maybe someone saying hurtful words and that's what you're moving away from. Take it how it resonates, guys. Leave me some comments if um, this is hitting home for any of you. But I do think um, there was some regret into the situation. But I do feel like once you kind of get out of this energy of being guarded, move on to calmer waters, Gemini, you will have your true happiness and your joy. So we're going to move right along. Cancer's love situation. Cancer's love situation. The Queen of Pentacles. The Magician. All right. This might be one of the best ones so far tonight. Oh my gosh. Yes, it is Cancer's. Holy freaking smokes. You know what's crazy? You guys didn't see me because I kind of did it off camera, but I put the cards in all very separated from each other within the three cards in this deck. This is on the bottom of the deck, and this is uh, came out, and this was just in Gemini. Super weird how they come back out sometimes like that, so close together. Okay, so uh, Cancers, I feel like um, you are about to be in a phenomenal love situation. We have the Magician, we have the Sun, and the Queen of Pentacles, so two major arcanas. I feel like you or someone else is manifesting the soulmate, their soulmate, and you're their soulmate. You guys are together. So either they're manifesting you or you're manifesting them. But um, whoever's coming into your energy is going to be your soulmate. It's going to be someone who is nurturing, who is caring, who is emotionally stable, who is financially stable, who is extremely grounded, who is a caretaker, a provider, a nurturer. This person is the queen of freaking pentacles. They're very balanced. Um, they're very committed. They're very loyal. And it's going to bring you so much freaking happiness. This is joy. This is optimism. This is positivity. This is happiness. This is potentially a child. This is so much fun and excitement. If you look at the card, it's just a beautiful card, right? And that's what oozes out of it is that joy, that happiness, that excitement, that the greatness, the happiness. I love that, Cancer. That's an awesome free card pull. Let's get the Love and Romance Journey cards from Queen Sugar Tarot for Cancer. Mm -mm. Well, it, it's given me three, so I'm going to take them. Everybody else only gave two. We have Storm Ahead, Decisions and Choices, and Reflections. So I feel like um, I feel like this is potential past energy. I honestly don't think it's ahead. I feel like there was a storm that you had to kind of endure, which created some reflection, um, which is kind of like the judgment card um, to kind of evaluate your life, evaluate what was happening, evaluate what you were getting and what you wanted out of life. Were you getting this true happiness previously? And then you had to make a decision or a choice to, to move away from whatever may have been causing some storms and some heavy reflection of your character, of your situation, of what you were willing to take or not take. But I think what's coming towards you in your love situation or you're currently in is a lot of gravy goodness. We have yes and we have the gate closed. The time is not right. So again, um, I was only going to pull one card. We have the Divine Masculine on the bottom of the deck. So I feel like, guys, um, yes, this is this card of yes is like a marriage. I feel like the Queen of Pentacles is definitely like a committed person. Um, and the Magician manifests the soulmate. They want a true situation, too. It's not like a, 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 a hooking up and hanging out and then leaving. But we do have uh, the gate is closed. It's not the right time. So maybe this is what's coming towards you. Um, so kind of keep that in mind. Maybe you have to close out some of these things with decisions and choices um, and deal with this reflection of the situation you've been put in and the storm that you've been going through in order for this magician, queen of pentacles, and sun card to be in your love situation. But um, we do have the Six of Swords on the bottom of the deck, which is moving to calm our water. So I can definitely see that as being um, something that might be necessary for you, Cancers. All right, Leo, 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 if you're dealing with a Leo. No, I'm sorry. That's totally not what we're doing. I'm like yelling at myself. Leo's love situation. That's what we're doing. Leo's love situation. I'm like, no. <laughs> Leo's love situation. Mm. Dang it. This is the third time in a row this card came out. Moving on to calmer waters. 
two of wands, three of cups. I feel like that one wanted to come out too, the knight of swords. So I feel like, uh, Leos, you are definitely in a position where you need to make some decisions. I feel like um, this two of wands energy is like picking a path, deciding, sorry, that's my crazy dog. Uh, picking a path, deciding what to do, deciding which way to move, how you're going to proceed and move forward. This could potentially be some travel as well, but I feel like it's definitely more reflective of, sorry, she's got a new toy and she's like trying to tear it apart. That's all that noise you're hearing. Um, you're picking a path, but you're moving on to calmer waters. So I think you're moving away from a situation that really didn't serve you um, and making some choices. Like you're kind of taking action. It could have even potentially caused some heartbreak or sadness, or grief, or loss, um, but you're definitely moving away. You're making this choice. You're figuring out what it is that you need for your happiness, and I think that, um, I do think that you're going to have an extremely great situation coming towards you in love. So this Three of Cups energy here to me is like the Two of Cups energy um, plus more. So to me, this is like soulmate energy. Um, uh, I almost said twin flame, true love wedding energy. This is not just being with someone that you absolutely love and it's your person, but this is also being with someone you absolutely love and it's your soul connection. It's your soulmate. So I feel like um, you're going to have a soul connection. This is also a potential card reunion for me. And then we have the Knight of Swords. So I feel like potentially once you decide to move on, make a change, make a shift, someone is going to be coming towards you with lots of communication, lots of messages. They're going to see you as their soulmate. They're going to see you as their Three of Cups. This is like um, wedding reception, um, engagement party vibes to me. Let's see what this king or knight of swords. No, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Let's get some love and romance journey cards for Leo's love situation. Magnetic connection. Nice and purge and release. Yeah, this, oh, mm -mm. I did save reconciliation too. So interestingly enough, so this magnetic connection card to me is like this card, right? This three of cups energy and purge and release is like moving on to calmer waters. Violet, get away from my light. Bye bye. Come on. <laughs> the bottom of the deck is reconciliation. So I feel like this could potentially be a reunion. I don't think you're going to stick with the person that like broke you or hurt your heart. But, um, you know, perhaps it's somebody else coming back in. I don't know. I mean, you got to tell me, Leos. I don't know. Let's get a Love Oracle card for Leos. Maybe this will help clarify. You know what, guys? I was wanting one card. Um, interesting. It says, should I stay? So this is like that. Oh, my gosh. Violet, get away from my chair. Hey, come here. Come here. Um, should I stay? Come to me and take my hand. So I feel like, um, I don't know who's saying come to me and take my hand. If this is a new person coming back or you're contemplating on stay, should I stay or should I go now? Um, if I go, there will be trouble. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I feel like you're going to have a choice to make. I do feel like, I don't, I really don't think this is like you going back to someone that hurt you. I feel like it's. Um, you going into some, maybe back with someone that it, you have a magnetic connection with. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All right, Leo, so we're going to move right along. You guys got some bonus cards there unintentionally. All right. Moving right along. Virgos, Virgos, Virgos. What's Virgos love situation? What's Virgos love situation? Oh, I didn't know if that one wanted to come out. And it's the Ten of Swords. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, Virgos. I think you need a big giant hug. Um, I'm happy about the bottom of the deck energy here. I feel like uh, you are definitely going through something difficult. Um, this could be grief and loss, heartbreak, right? Um, sadness. It could. It doesn't have to be as excruciating as this card looks, but um, it could be. Uh, I feel like something's really burdensome in your in your love situation at this time. But fortunately, I kind of see an ending to this situation. Um, tens are like endings, and they often prompt new beginnings, right? When you close one door, another door opens. So I feel like this is a positive, healthy switch, right? You're ending this sadness. You're ending this heartbreak. You're ending this um, 
devastating kind of vibe. Doesn't mean uh, you're ending a relationship, not necessarily if you're in one, but it just means perhaps this stuff that's making you so sad is ending. You tell me though. Um, this could be backstabbing and betrayal, so uh, it could potentially be something more significant, um, like someone being dishonest, lying, deceiving, but um, it's more like uh, an ending, a sad ending. Uh, we also have the Hermit card, which is your energy, Virgo. I feel like you are pulling yourself back out of a situation. You are healing. You are growing. You are um, putting yourself kind of in, um, I want to say solidity. That's not really the word I want. Isolation. Not not full like isolation, but a solitude. You're getting some solitude. That's the word I wanted. Um, you're getting some healing. You're learning some lessons. On the bottom of the deck, too, we also have the Wheel of Fortune, which I feel like after you go through this, things are going to be shifting and going in your favor. But I feel like right now you are kind of in a tough moment, Virgo. So big hugs to you. Um, big, big hugs to you. But you're going to heal. You're going to grow. You're kind of going to come out even stronger. I got that Kelly Clarkson song in my head. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Um, we have romance and true love and sacred connection. So perhaps the sacred connection is the connection you're struggling with. Maybe it's like, you know, that this situation, um, is truly a sacred connection with you and this person. That's why it hurts so much. Or perhaps, um, going through this pain and solitude will put, prompt you towards this true love and a magnetic or sacred connection. My apologies. And then we're going to get a love oracle card for you. First kiss. So this is like a really nostalgic card to me. This is like, this is not necessarily representative of who you had your first kiss with, but someone who is very nostalgic to you, someone that you get butterflies when you think about, someone who potentially was in your past when you were younger. Um, I feel like it's a really nostalgic connection and love. So, all right, all right, all right. I'm probably going to have to pause this video. I think my dog's going to knock over this chair. All right, Libras, Libras, Libras. Give me some cards on Libras' love situation. Give me some cards on Libras' love situation. Nice. Nice. You had super nice cards, Libra. So we have the Six of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands. I feel like... You are going to have a new start with uh, stability. Um, this person wants long-term commitment. This person wants to be grounded and loyal and committed. Um, a new stable start. I feel like this is definitely with someone uh, you have some nostalgic feelings for. So this could be like a new start with an old person. This could be like a new start with the person you're with. Like, you can, hey, we're going to scrap all this and have a new start. This could be a, a very much a brand new person in terms of a love situation, but someone from your past, someone that you have some nostalgic feelings with, someone that you really have good memories with, does not have to be someone you dated, but just someone that kind of gives you the warm, fuzzy feelings about being young and being carefree. And then we have the Six of Wands, which is victorious, victory, uh, victory, love conquering all. So I definitely feel like, Libras, you have a very, very solid offer here in love. I feel like it's extremely nostalgic. It makes you have the warm and fuzzies, and it's going to be victorious. So I think that's what we got for you. I'm sorry, my dog is being so loud and obnoxious for those noises. She's being crazy. Violet. 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 She's not even, um, she's not even like giving me a, uh, any kind of a response. She's just trying to destroy her little toy. <laughs> she's obsessed. All right. So, um, we have a, from the love and romance journey, we have shadow work and tired and standing. And to me, these don't really go with the cards that you have here, but perhaps if this is like a new start with the same person, um, you had, you guys had to go through some shadow work. You had to go through some shadow work. They had to go through some shadow work. You both did. Um, and you felt really tired and stand like you're just tired and barely standing like that's, um, you know, just barely hanging on. But, uh, I think then you have this new stable start. So it, which where you will be victorious. You won't be, you won't be tired and standing. Love will conquer all, but it seems like perhaps maybe you're going through some shadow work and having to kind of get some things straightened out. Libras, the gate is open. Take a leap of faith and walk through. 
That's your card from the Love Oracle deck, from the Soul Reflections Love Oracle deck. So the gate is open. I think you're getting through a harder period with this shadow work of feeling tired and standing. And you're going to have a fabulous new start, guys. A fabulous new committed loyal start. It's going to be victorious and it's going to be extremely nostalgic. Scorpio, 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 Scorpios. Ooh, I feel like this doesn't want to shuffle, Scorpios. You using some stubborn energy here? What Scorpio's love situation? Yeah, for some reason these don't want to go back in the deck. I don't know what's happening. Seven of Pentacles. Six of Wands. Ooh, Ace of Cups. This is nice. Oh, <laughs> and then the Devil's on the bottom of the deck. Good thing we're not doing Devil Energy today. Or bottom of the deck energy. So Scorpios, I feel like you definitely have a new start in love coming. This Ace of Cups to me is someone who is going to be extremely compassionate, extremely nurturing, very loving. Um, they're going to be in love with you. You're going to be able to feel their love. You're going to be in love with them too, I believe. <coughs> Pardon me. Obviously, I don't think you just start in love with them. You will fall in love with them. I definitely feel like this is someone who you have some kind of connection with. The Seven of Pentacles is like planting seeds and growing stuff to fruition. So I feel like in this situation, Scorpio, this is with a person that you know. Um, does not mean it was somebody you dated previously or what doesn't mean it's an ex. But someone that you have some kind of seedlings planted with. It could be an ex, but it doesn't have to be. I feel like this is more of like some seeds were planted and if you tend to this situation, you're going to have something growing to fruition. So I feel like this person is going to be very stable and committed and grounded with this pentacles energy. I feel like they're going to want to work on it as well. I think you both will be working it, it towards this situation also because we have the six of wands here, which is victorious in love. So I feel like you are going to have a very good love situation. Sorry, I'm getting like a tickle in my throat. <coughs> Pardon me. You're going to have a very good love situation coming towards you, true love. Um, your love, the cup of love will be overflowing. Um, I do feel like this is with someone you potentially already know, with these um, seven of pentacles seeds being planted, and it will be very victorious. Love will conquer all. Let's get a couple of love and romance journey cards for Scorpio. Dark Knight of the Soul. Love letters. Yeah, I don't know. Cleanse is on the bottom of the deck. Um, you tell me, Scorpio, have you been going through some dark times? Have you been going through some moments of deep, dark soul searching? Um, thinking about what went wrong in your life? Thinking about what you need to change? Um, if you have been, I feel like that's all shifting. I see cleanse here, so I feel like you are going to kind of do the process that you need to to get through this dark night of the soul kind of energy and heal, um, especially with that cleanse card. Um, and there's love letters. So I don't know if it's someone's going to send you a love letter or text you a message or write you a message um, or you're going to do that for them. But I think a love letter will be significant in this relationship, whether it's a, a text or an actual letter, I'm not sure, or like a, some kind of electronic communication. We also have childhood love. So this to me... I don't know if this is necessarily someone that you dated as a child or were in love with as a child. It could be. But I feel like this is definitely more reflective of someone from your childhood. So, um, like with the Seven of Pentacles, it could very much be someone that you knew from your past. That gives you, like, nostalgic vibes. All right. Let's uh, move right along. The devil energy. Ooh, and the star energy. This person's going to be your wish fulfillment. It's going to be an intense connection. There's going to be something you don't expect with the tower and the hierophant. It's going to result in marriage. If you want to be married, Scorpio. You still have free will. All right. Sagittarius is next. Give me information about Sagittarius's love situation. I feel like those both need to come out. Ooh. Uh, Sagittarius, I hope you're not dealing with somebody who is um, potentially got a significant other. Um, I, I feel like there could be a couple stories here 
um, I have the Two of Pentacles, the, the Lover's card, the Knight of Pentacles. So one story would be um, that, that you're juggling a situation, that you are kind of trying to get balance in your life and you feel like life is kind of out of balance, and that a true love situation is coming towards you with this Lover's card. This is true love, this is soulmate, this is marriage, but it's going to be slow and steady like slow and steady connection. And it could potentially be your wish fulfillment with the seven of cups. But if I'm going to be truly transparent, um, normally I love this card. Uh, this can also represent a choice in love. So I feel like if we look at it on a not so rosy gumdrops and lollipops, um, you, you or someone you're with could be contemplating, um, two different people. They could be juggling two different people and, um, trying to make a decision between you and someone else. Um, I do feel like this, this connection has the ability to be grounded, committed and loyal, but I feel like it's a very slow moving kind of situation. Um, so there's that I really, and then this would be like, Hey, I have so many choices. I don't know who to pick or what to pick. And there's a little bit of confusion about who to pick, but, um, uh, let's go the more optimistic route is that this is a true love situation. Um, Hey, this is a true love situation. Um, and you just got to get some balance into your life or they got to get some balance into their life. It's slow moving. Let's see what the other cards kind of reflect Sagittarius. Ooh, the divine masculine. That's a good thing. And the divine freaking feminine. Oh uh, yeah, so I feel like this is definitely much more of a positive situation. This is the the match in love, right? This is this is soulmates. This is counterparts. This is definitely this kind of true love marriage um, kind of situation. Soulmate energy. Uh, that's amazing, right there. Divine masculine, divine feminine, and the lovers card. So yeah, I feel like your life your life right now, Sagittarius, might just not be balanced. Um, so you might have all these wonderful, great things around you, but you got to get your life balanced a little bit more. Um, and then we have no regret. So this is kind of, I'm not exactly sure how to feel about these. Um, so you take this out, Resonance Sagittarius says, put some comments below for me so I know what the heck's going on with you. <laughs> um, but I feel like, uh, you have a divine counterpart, so don't screw it up if, uh, if you are doing something you shouldn't do that might cause regret. All right, Capricorns. Give me Capricorn's love situation. All right, Capricorns. I feel like um, we have the Hanged Man, the Four of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands. I feel like your love situation right now is definitely more about having fun and enjoying yourself, having a good time, and not really being open to love. The Queen of Wands is like fiery, sexy, flirty, passionate energy. Um, this is someone who enjoys their life, has a good time, is the life of the party. People like to be around them. They're fiery. They're fun. Um, so I feel like your focus, Capricorn, is on having fun. You're really guarded with your heart with this Four of Pentacles energy. Uh, you're kind of keeping your heart closed off. But I think it's because of a situation that's happened previously where you feel like you need to heal and surrender to what is. So instead of being so hyper-focused on when is this next person coming in love or who am I going to be with? You're kind of letting go and letting God and allowing some healing to take place. And you're really focused more on your social situation in terms of love um, than your heart content. So like you might be out having fun and hooking up and hanging out, but you're not necessarily opening yourself up for a love situation right at the moment, Capricorns. Let's get some love and romance journey cards for Capricorn. Be gentle and mask offer. Yeah, I think I think be gentle with yourself. Um, you know, don't push yourself, but also don't lie to yourself with this masked offer. I feel like you need to be honest and open to yourself. Like you can be closed off to other people, but really do some soul searching to understand what you need and what you want in your heart. Um before you open it up to others. But just be gentle, don't be too harsh on yourself. All right, let's get uh, the Soul Reflections Love Oracle card. Ooh, that one flew out. Open for love. Yeah, I think once you get through this phase of, like, enjoying your life, having fun, and, um, and <laughs> taking care of yourself, 
um, you will be open for love eventually, but you are not. And then on the bottom of the deck, guys, we have the Four of Wands and the freaking Emperor. So it's like your Divine Masculine with the Twin Flame energy. So um, that could all be in your near future, Capricorns. All right, Aquarius is Aquarius is Aquarius. This is what's Aquarius is love situation. I'm not taking that. That was Nine of Swords. We'll see if it pops back out. That did pop out pretty fast. Holy freaking smokes. I tried to get rid of that card, Aquarius. As you guys just saw that. Rewind the footage. Oh my god, I'm gonna rewind the footage. That's insane. All right, you guys get a bonus card. Um, we have the Nine of Swords energy, the Lovers, the High Priestess, and the Nine of Pentacles. So Aquarius, is, I feel like um, I feel like you're working on yourself. I feel like you got two nines here which you write like goes nine and then ten right tens are completions of cycles so i feel like you are definitely um you've spent a lot of time overthinking right obsessing you spent a lot of time um really having some sleepless nights full of anxiety not really sure what to do um maybe you're not crying yourself to sleep every night but you could be right um, and I think what you've decided to do is kind of just tap into your spirituality, tap into your intuition. Sorry, I'm petting my dog. Um, tap into uh, gaining knowledge from um, from God, from your spirit guides, from your angels, from whatever you believe in the universe, um, and really tapping into your intuition. And I think what your intuition is telling you is like, hey, stop hyper-focusing on this situation and start focusing on yourself. Focus on getting stable. Focus on getting your finances stable, getting your emotions stable, getting yourself um, just grounded. So getting emotional and financial stability so you can be successful, be happy in your own skin by yourself. However, I think once you do that and move in this direction of being this Nine of Pentacles energy, you're going to have the lover's card come in, which is true love, which is um, soulmate, which is potential marriage. So I feel like you will be like kind of progressing through from the Nine of Swords to the High Priestess to the Nine of Pentacles to the lover's card. Um, so I think you have a positive uh, situation coming. But right now, Aquarius says, I kind of feel like you're stuck. You're stuck a little. Oh, bless you, Violet. Bless you, Mama. All right, let's see. Um, let's get the love and romance journey cards. Be gentle and purge and release. Yeah, so be gentle with yourself and purge and release all that negativity. Um, don't beat yourself up for kind of being stuck. It's okay. Just uh, move towards healing, spirituality, and intuition, uh, and you will be all right. All right, let's get a soul reflections, love oracle card, addictions. Um, this could very well mean like drinking and drug use, but I really feel like it's more of this obsessive thinking, this obsessive thinking that's keeping you in a state of anxiety. So Aquarius says, just be gentle with yourself. Purge and release all that nonsense, all that garbage, all that stuff that's keeping you up at night. Um, I do see a very great connection coming. Uh, on the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Swords, which is you, and then the Eight of Pentacles, which is a soulmate, working hard kind of energy as well. Um, I do think you have good things coming. Just uh, make sure you're not staying stagnant and heal. Move forward. All right. All right. All right. Last group here. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Give me some cards on Pisces love situation. Give me some cards on Pisces love situation. Ooh, the sun card. You could potentially be dealing with a Leo. The Ten of Wands and the Page of Wands. Heavy Leo here um, or Fire Sign. So uh, Sagittarius or Aries as well. Um, Pisces, I feel like I feel like you are moving away from a situation. We have the Ten of Wands energy here. So this is like putting down a burden. So I think something's really been burdening, burder, burdening you. <laughs> burdening you. I feel like you are like in the regular tarot. It's this man with like 10 wands on his back and it's just getting too heavy and he's got to put it on. So um, in this, this is like a girl like walking away. Um, so I feel like you are putting down some burdens. I feel like you've been carrying a lot of burdens on your back. And I think there's an ending to a situation. I'm not clarifying, so I don't know what the situation is. You would know, Pisces, when I'm, what I'm talking about. Like, I don't know if you're walking away from a person, walking away from a scenario, walking away from a potential job, but I feel like this is definitely love-related because we're doing a love reading. 
But when you walk away, when you make the choice to put this burden down and end this cycle, you're going to get some um, really good vibes, some positive energy, some positive messages. I feel like you could potentially be the messenger yourself, um, but you're going to get some joy brought back into your life in terms of this Page of Wands energy. So this is going to be messages. This is going to be um, potential uh, a date or like some an invite somewhere fun. But then guess what? rolls out the sun card this is the most positive card in the deck this is the um this is optimism this is sunshine this is joy this is happiness this is gumdrops and lollipops guys um this is like could potentially be a baby so uh you could be having a baby too so keep that in mind but this is joy happiness optimism you're putting down whatever's making you gloomy to to picking up something that is just making you amazing or maybe just putting something down makes you happy right so, but I feel like it's going to be lots of fun, lots of excitement. Um, I feel like this is going to be quite passionate, too, with all the fire here. Um, but very, very much a happy, 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 joyous, optimistic situation. Positivity, joy, happiness. God bless you, Violet. God bless you. Oh, Violet's saying hi, everybody. Hi, Violet. Hi, Violet. <laughs> Sorry, let me get her down. I got a few more cards, Violet. Hold on, Mama. Hold on, Pop. All right, let's get some love and romance journey. Oh, golly. So you guys get three. We have the Dark Knight of the Soul, Messed Offer, and Growth. So I feel like, yes, this is what you're putting down, guys. I feel like you've been going through some very difficult times with the Dark Knight of the Soul. Um, perhaps someone gave you a messed offer or you gave someone a messed offer where you weren't being honest. Um, and now growth is going to start happening. So I feel like um, this is all kind of positive. You're going to move out of the darkness into the light, right? Out of the darkness into the light. So I feel like um, whatever you have coming toward you is amazing. We also have love letter again on the bottom. That might be relevant. Um, I kind of think that because maybe the page of wands could be like a, a message as well. Sorry, my dog. I don't know what's going on with her. I think she was in front of this little heater too long. She, her mouth is all dry. Good thing we're on Pisces. All right, we're going to get a Love Oracle card for you, Pisces. We have maybe. The potential to happen is there. Bottom of the deck, date night. Again, very sunny, kind of warm cards here. All right, Pisces. We also have many suitors, and one stands out in the crowd underneath that. So... Um, all right, guys, take that how it resonates. Please leave some comments below. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel inclined to do so. I appreciate your support so much. And until next time, guys, take care. Thanks for watching.